I was interested in reading of a man named Sid Gilman. If you're a sports fan, you know years ago he served as the head coach and general manager of the National Football League team, the Houston Oilers. Gilman took the team in the middle or early part of the season, and it was a losing situation. They had a won one game and lost five game record, 1-5. As of the interview, the record was 6-6. Six, six. They wanted to know how in the last six games he was able to win five of them. How could he turn the team around from a loser to a winner and be up for National Football League Coach of the Year, of all things? His answer was classic. Listen. We do not allow any negative or petty spirit on our team. None whatsoever. We build each other up. We love each other. We praise one another's ability. We encourage one another in the game of football. End of quote. He went on to say that he spent his time with his men, not pointing out all of their flaws. But he spent most of his day building into the mind of his men. You can play the game. You can win this game. And you know what happened? <laughs> they started winning. If you follow the sport, you know that they had on their team a man by the name of Matuzek, who was a giant number one draft choice in the entire NFL. And because Houston was at the bottom, they drafted him. Gilman came and there was immediate conflict. Why? Because Matuzek was negative. He was wearing red sweatpants and practicing, and everybody else wore gray. And so Coach Gilman said to him, John, around here we wear gray. But Coach, these are double knit. Gilman said, I don't care if they're triple knit, we wear gray. And then a little later on, they were at a house together in the training camp, and Matuzik wanted to be alone in his own apartment, said he rested better. Gilman said, Learn to rest with the team because we're going to uh, be together at this camp. And after another run in, he finally said, you know, there's nothing left to do but just let him go. And they started winning. Interesting, isn't it? How a petty and critical spirit will corrupt and ruin a scene.